Hey everyone, in today's quick video, I'd like to give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of my process for creating an illustrated book on a page summary for a book that I have never read. The topic is especially interesting to me since we are coming up to the end of the second cohort in the Visual Thinking Workshop, where participants read and illustrate a book using Excolidra Obsidian and where through this process we learn about tools for visual thinking. And the question for me is, is there a future for this workshop? Can I organize cohort three, four, five, six, etc.? So my process for creating this illustrated book on a page summary involved four systems. So first of all, I used ChatGPT3, then I use Midjourney for the images, then I use Lunapic to edit the images, and finally I used Excolidraw in Obsidian to author the book on a page and to create this presentation. So step one was pretty simple. I asked ChatGPT3 to summarize the top five points from Atul Gavande's Being Mortal book. And then, as a follow-on question, I asked ChatGPT3 to add three short bullet points to each of the five key points so I have some detail that I can add to my book on a page summary. Then in the next step, I asked ChatGPT3 to recommend some illustrations, illustrations that incorporate all of the detailed bullet points for each of the five key points. Once I had the recommended illustrations, I went ahead and asked ChatGPT3 to create the mid-journey prompts. I didn't actually ask for the mid-journey prompts. I asked for a list of nouns, verbs, and adjectives, and I will be using this for the mid-journey prompts. With these in hand, I went over to mid-journey and I created my illustrations. The way I did this, was I separated the prompt into three separate parts. The first part was the short summary title of the topic. The second part was the comma separated words from the recommended illustration. And the third part was always the same. It specified an artist and then specified some of the styles of the image that I was looking for. I have the third part in order to create some consistency. By the way, I have a separate video on the topic of creating SVG icons with Midjourney, so check that out if you're interested in this topic in further detail. Once I had my images created with Midjourney, I moved on to cropping and making these images transparent. I used Lunapic for this. Lunapic is my go-to tool for these sort of actions. I find Lunapic pretty simple to use and very effective. Once I had my images ready, I opened Excolidraw in Obsidian and I simply added the images and added the text from ChatGPT3. And finally, I used the slideshow script to create my presentation. So how does the end result look like? So this is the end result. You can see I have five pictures here, five titles, and then I have the details and the bullet points. And if you look at this, I think in terms of a book on a page summary, this does give me a good summary of the book. So it starts with the important point of shifting the focus in medicine from prolonging life to improving the quality of life for patients. And it highlights the issue that healthcare today ignores the needs of the elderly. It then goes to talk about the importance of collaboration in care and moves on to the topic of planning and preparation as a person for the end of our lives. And finally, it closes with this topic of a successful end of life experience. So I think the book on the page looks nice. It took me only 
30 minutes to create this entire book on a page summary, including the summary, the images, and the editing in Excolid Draw, which I think is pretty fast, especially compared to the quality of the end result. I think the images are good. Yes, if I would have spent more time, I could have found better images, but actually the images were pretty okay. But to be honest, I have no idea what the book was about. I just read those five titles for you and I have this extremely vague, broad idea of what Atul Gavanda is writing about in the book, but I miss the details. I miss the connections to other thoughts in my vault. I have really not internalized the material. And so for this reason, my takeaway is that probably the visual thinking workshop is not yet in jeopardy. I think the tools for thought, for visualizing our thoughts and for recording book on a page summaries, not because it's efficient, but because I can understand the book in a much deeper level by creating the visual summaries, thus have a future. So all in all, I think this was a fun process. I definitely recommend you to play with this because it's an awesome learning experience playing with ChatGPT3, playing with Midjourney, as well as learning about a book that you have never read. And maybe this is a good first step in reading a book or in selecting a book that you would want to read. But once you've selected the book, I do recommend reading it, highlighting it, using Tiago Forte's progressive summarization, and then taking the effort to creating a visual summary. By the way, I have a couple of videos here. I'm going to link them in the video description about creating a book on a page summary. So if you would like to create a book on a page summary yourself, you can check those videos out, as well as if you're interested, I invite you to check out my visual thinking workshop. Thank you.